what, what are we, we making today? Um, it's an Italian favorite, cavatelli and sausage. Mm. But it's spring, so I'm going to use a lot of spring vegetables, peas and favas. So do you want to help me out to make this? It can be a little intimidating. Yes, yeah, so you, show you have how your fresh easy pasta maker. Okay, so this is your cavatelli now. You're going to take it, and you're just going to feed it right through the machine. Ah, okay. someone's like, yes, we yep. must have a pro in the audience. There you go. Now you're going to... That's it? Just as hard as you can. There you go. <laughs> burn, burn, your, go. burn your fingers, you darling. Got it, you got it, you got it. You got it's you got dangerous. It. Is this Perfect. easier or quicker? Does it take longer or less time? To you know, make fresh to be pasta? honest, I love fresh pasta and it's so quick to cook, but I love dried as well. It's just a little bit of a longer cook time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let this boil. It takes about 90 seconds in the water. It'll start to rise when it's ready. I'm going to start on the sauce. But I want you to have a little snack over there. We're talking about the seasons of spring. So it's a fava bean and roasted pepper bruschetta. So you can nibble on that while I start on the sauce. Fava beans? <laughs> like Silence of the I Lambs? I was just going to ask. <laughs> it's so funny. So I was just going to say, do we have a nice Chianti to go with it? <laughs> so I'm going to start the sauce with a little bit of garlic. Is it good? She's like, delicious. Sorry. <laughs> Got a little distracted by the flavor. Okay, so that's I delicious. Just mm. threw all that garlic in there, so our breath later you can't may have be enough a little garlic for me. Oh, good. And now, sweet Italian sausage, fresh peas because the season is spring and they're just so delicious right mm -hmm. now, and a little bit of fresh spring onions. So beautiful, it and you can so see good. the cavatelli; it just comes right up. We're gonna take it right out, just like this. Put it right in there. Now, this, this is so the simple. trick. It is, right? It's one, two, and three. Give it a little toss. This is the trick right here. Just a little bit of pasta water goes back in there ah. to thicken it up a little bit. I'm going to let you shave the Parmesan cheese over the top. Whoop, right on my feet. Now, my rule in the kitchen at Scopa, mm -hmm. um, and my sous chef thinks it's hilarious, which <laughs> is when you think that there's enough cheese, you should add some more. <laughs> I so, like your rule. So just, just go on and shave some. Just keep shredding it in. I'm going to do some That's fresh... enough. No. That's when you say no. I and think you that's soaking. enough. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Perfect. Put a little light. <laughs> some fresh basil. And that is for you. And look at it. I just love how it falls around. Look at it. Wow. Right? Did you hear that? Uh, it looks wonderful. Let's try it. Let's try it. it. I get a little bit of that sausage mm. over here. Come in. A little bit of that basil there. Take a little bite because I still have dessert for you. Okay. Oh. Come here. <laughs> Fluffer nutter. Fluffer nutter. Take a bite of that. Wait a, a minute. A little bit of peanut what butter, is that? banana, and marshmallow fluff. Sandwiched between two pieces of pan to me and fried. Just cheers. And just cheers. put it in your mouth. If you live in LA, you have got to check out her restaurants, Black Market Liquor and Scopa. Thank you so much, Antonia.